Hey guys, and welcome to another episode. If a solid trading plan helps you to grow your account, money and risk management help you to survive in the financial markets. In this video, we will discuss some of the best money and risk management plans for minimizing risk and effectively growing your capital. We will demonstrate the techniques on how to manage open positions and control emotions, which allows you to catch insane risk to reward ratio trades. So guys, if learning advanced trading concepts, strategies, entry reasons, and how to stay disciplined with a trading plan interests you, please hit the like button to show your support and subscribe to our channel since we publish many advanced trading concepts. From looking at the comments, we had a lot of requests for making a video about risk and money management plans. Since we always look at them to decide the next topic, comment below and tell us what subjects you want us to cover next. So, what is money and risk management? Risk management involves identifying and minimizing potential risks, while money management focuses on effectively allocating and protecting trading capital. They both serve the same purpose, which is achieving long-term success by preserving capital and optimizing profitability. Now, imagine the market is moving in an uptrend. We have a level of support and a reversal candlestick formation. So we go long at the close of the engulfing candlestick, put our stop loss below the doji candle, and target two times our risk. Let's suppose our account size is $1,000. Our position size determines what percentage of our capital will be lost if the price hits our stop loss. If we risk 5% of our account size on this trade and get stopped, we will lose $50, and if we win one out of three trades, we will still be at break-even. That does not sound so bad, does it? But what if we lose five trades in a row in a bad trading week, which is likely to happen to everyone? We will lose 25% of our capital in a week, and imagine how much it can be annoying and destructive to future trading decisions. Blowing an account is not losing all of your money. You lose half of your capital, and you are mentally done. So this is where money management comes in. If we risk 2% of our initial account size on every trade, five losing trades in a row will take only 10% of our capital, which we can easily recover in the good trading days. Later in this video, I will explain some of the interesting techniques of money management to maximize profits, but now let's continue with risk management. How does risk management help us in this trading example? Imagine after buying this pair, the price goes against our predictions. After this break and close to the downside, we can expect the price to fall and possibly hit our stop. Although the price has not hit our stop, if we close half of our position in the loss, we can save 25% of our risk amount in this bad trade. On the contrary, if the market goes along with our predictions, there is a possibility for the price to reverse and make us lose a winning trade. So saving some of our profits before reaching our final targets is another risk management technique. Basically, risk management involves identifying and minimizing the risk of possible future scenarios. Now let's continue with some of the basic rules, concepts, and calculations of money and capital management. How much should you risk per trade? This answer pretty much depends on your risk tolerance. Risk tolerance is the amount of money that you are comfortable losing when you encounter inevitable losing trades. We have a risk tolerance per trade in capital. Ask yourself this, what percentage of your capital are you willing to risk per trade and you will be comfortable losing if things don't go your way? Second, if you're having bad days and you lose five trades in a row, how much of your total account loss won't let your emotions affect your future trading decisions? Depending on your answers, you could build a solid money management plan, and following it keeps emotions away in the trading. If you risk more than you're willing to lose on a specific trade, your emotions will control the outcome of that trade. For example, if you risk 3% of your initial account size per trade, five losing trades in a row will reduce your capital by 15%. But why don't we risk very smaller percentages? The amount of your risk on each trade determines the amount of gains as well. For example, if you have a small account and you risk 1% per trade and your risk to reward ratio is 1 to 1, you will gain 1% per trade. 
and if it does not satisfy you after all of the hard work you put into the trading, you will get discouraged. As a result, your money management plan should be such that wins encourage you to continue and losses do not stop you. If I was a beginner and I had a small account, I would probably risk 2-3% to of my capital per trade. Now, how to calculate our position size while trading different pairs? Calculating position size depends on the percentage you're willing to risk, your account size, and the number of stop-loss pips. So let me introduce a position size calculator tool to you and how you can use this in your money management system. But before we continue, if you have enjoyed this video so far, please smash the like button for me and comment below with your thoughts and questions. To use this tool, go to myfxbook.com and from the Home tab, select the Forex Calculators and Position Size Calculator. Here, you will be able to calculate your lot size. Imagine we want to trade the pound CAD. We have a $2,500 account size and we want to risk 2% of our capital on this trade. Let's put the stop loss of 20 pips and click on the calculate. As you can see, if we want to trade pound CAD with a 2,500 account size and 2% risk per trade using 20 pips stop loss, we have to open a 0.33 lot position in the trading platform. This is the easiest way to calculate the position size. This tool is only for trading Forex pairs and metals, so comment below and tell us if you know any tool for other financial markets. The money management concepts we discussed earlier focused on survival and preserving capital. Now what about growing it when we are on the round of wins? One of the safe ways to risk more for growing your account faster without letting emotions come in the way is that transferring some of your profits to a second account when you have huge wins. And on the second account, risk more than what you usually do to see how much you can grow it. This way you know that all of the money you are risking is only profits, and this is really helpful when you are trying to control your emotions. Also, you need to withdraw some of your profits monthly and spend it to encourage you to continue going forward in this marathon. If you plan to grow your account exponentially for a long period of time without withdrawals, you will probably get stuck in the middle of the road. Also, if you're planning to generate consistent and long-term income from financial markets, make sure to backtest your trading setups at least 100 times on multiple pairs to obtain the approximate win rate and results before trading with real money. This helps you to build the confidence required for trading and makes you stick with your trading plan and rules. For the backtesting, we use TraderEdge software which allows us to save so much time and energy. Once we're done with the backtesting, TraderEdge will provide us with a detailed matrix, including important information such as win rate, maximum drawdown, and profit results. It also allows us to save the data and add more backtests, which will all be stored in the strategy library. If you're interested in using TraderEdge, you can sign up for a 7-day free trial by checking the link in the description. Now that we discussed the money management concepts, let's continue with some of the risk management techniques and how to manage open positions to maximize profits. Let's start with the most basic technique, which is making the trades break even. Imagine we have an uptrend with a series of higher highs and higher lows, and we want to trade with the dominant trend. We go long and put our stop loss below this swing low. We target the higher time frame key level, which could be a turning point for the price. This trade has a 1 to 5 risk to reward ratio, but perhaps it has happened to you that after running in profits, the market came back and hit your stop turning a winning trade into a losing one. Or you regret closing your position in some profits when the market would have hit your long-term target. To avoid these kinds of mistakes, traders use a simple technique to make their trade break even and take the pressure off. When the price reaches two times your stop loss, close half of your position in profits. Or you can open two trades instead of one each with half times what you risk and set one of their targets one to two. This way, after reaching your first target, even if the price returns and hits your stop loss, you are at break even and will lose no money. Then you can just let the trade run with no pressure and wait for the price to hit your long term target or close it when it was necessary. For example, close it when the market might run into slippage during the release of high impact news or at the end of the trading week. Now let's continue with the second technique. In this strategy, we track our profits until they reach the higher time frame key level, which allows us to catch insane risk to reward ratio trades. In the bullish scenario, after entering the long position, 
every time market breaks the structure to the upside, we reposition our stop a couple of pips below the new swing low. This way we can let the profits run until the price reaches the higher time frame key level or makes a reversal. Let's see a real example on the real chart. Here on the euro dollar 5 minutes, the price has tapped into a major level of structure, which could be a turning point for the current downtrend. Then the only thing we need to enter the long position is this double bottom chart pattern which indicates that a possible reversal is coming. We set our stop below the swing low and target the next level in front of the price on the higher time frame. Now we will let the trade run, and every time market breaks the structure to the upside, we will reposition our stop below the most recent swing low. This way we can track our profits and catch big risk-to-reward ratio trades without the fear of losing the gains. Now these are some examples of money and risk management plans which you can adjust to suit your trading style. If you have any tips on this topic for your fellow traders, make sure to share with us in the comments section. So guys, I hope this video had some value for you. If it had, please smash the like button to show your support and subscribe to our channel if you are new. See you guys in the next episode.